understanding of the times that we live in Hunting and gathering first-hand information Challenging definitions of sin I travel the world looking for lovers of the ultimate beauty but never Welcome, world, to the exciting adventures of Indiana Jones. I mean, sorry. Welcome back to Angels with Scaly Wings, the game that is literally eating away my heart, spitting it back out, and shoving it up my ass. <laughs> I don't know how much more I can take of this game, but I'm going to push through it. I'm going to push through it. I'm going to ignore the bad endings from here on out, because I just can't fucking handle it. It's... It's ripping me apart inside, and, like, I'm having trouble sleeping at night. I'm sh just sitting here shivering during the day at thoughts about it. And I just, I can't handle it. We're, we're gonna get this done. We're gonna go for the good endings. We're gonna get to the true ending. We're gonna finish this game, boys and girls. So! And if you want to know what the bad ending entails, I can let you know once we get to the good ending because so, I, I personally have done the bad ending myself so last time we did Bryce's route we fucked the chief of police and then inevitably doomed the entire fucking world Izumi was the one that killed everyone this time and we killed uh, Maverick because Maverick got really enraged and killed Izumi and on top of that, we killed an innocent Reza. So... This time, anyways. He was innocent this time. But all the other times, he's a fucking retard. Sorry. Um, not retard. What's a better word than that? Asshat? Yeah. Asshat. A mistake? <laughs> Indeed. But... So... This time we're going Lorem, yeah? Yeah? This time, we're going for Lorem. The little blue guy that wants to you know, meet you. The mailman. He's the mailman. Continue your you. journey, Faria. <laughs> Wake up with the card of Sebastian looking at us like, Why the fuck are you still playing this? <laughs> to be honest, Sebastian, I have no fucking clue. <laughs> Let's go ahead and skip the first one. Let's just get into it. I awoke from uneasy dreams, looking at an unfamiliar ceiling. By now, I should have gotten used to this fucking shit. <laughs> Sadly, that's Apparently, not every case. single time you restart, you forget everything, but you remember it a little bit later, when it's almost too late. And we meet... The system! System, can you walk just a, a few inches back from the doorway? I can't see your face. <laughs> system, is that your crotch we're looking at? Because <laughs> if it is, tell me to get my bottle ready. <laughs> Go ahead, Skip. Yes, I want to skip ahead. Right? I mean, there's yeah, nothing yeah. Consider concerning Lorem this early, right? Not anymore. No, uh, Lorem and Remy won't have anything in this beginning part. Fair enough. Bryce led me back to the apartment. I had an afternoon to fill. <sighs> Meet with Lorem. Well, we can zip right through this. Because you've already done it before. Indeed, I already have done this before. But I'm not sure if I did it good enough. Okay. There you are! Hey, Lorm. You've seen this before! I don't want to skip ahead, because I'm pretty sure I didn't do well the first time. Well, I don't think it really matters too much. But, okay. It's good to see you! I thought you might not show up! Am I late? 
Am I late? Not at all! I got here early! Kinda surprised you wanted to meet me here. Don't take this the wrong way, but... PHONE CALL! <laughs> ring ring! Hello? Ring ring! Hello? Hi, Spade! Yeah, I, I rang about, like, maybe 10-15 minutes ago. And we're playing the uh, game. Uh, say hi to the people on YouTube. Hello! Hello, Spade! Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I was, we just got done talking about what we did last time. Uh, last time we did uh, Bryce's route, ended up dooming the world, and uh, yeah. No, no, I can't do anything without fucking up. The first time, at least. Nah. That was the good ending, though. Yeah! The good ending is everyone died? Pretty much. It's a relative oh, good, ending. good ending. What's the bad ending? Bryce survived. I don't know. Anyway, so you think you'd be able to come for a visit? Cool story. Sure. I would rather not. Oh, too bad. I'll see you when you get here, I guess. If you come over. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, bye. Uh, all the phone calls. It seems like whenever I start recording this, someone wants to interrupt me. Because they know you're doing something. It's like, I want to be part of it. Why does everyone want to be part of me? I'm not all that interesting. I'm just an emotionally traumatized person who has had a horrible fucking life of nothing but loss. And I've actually attempted to end it all once, but... <laughs> That's in the past. It's in the past. Let's see how Lorem's doing. Yeah. What are you talking about? Oh, I see. I can assure you I'm a fully grown adult. My species don't get doesn't get much bigger than this. S speaking of which, are you fully grown yet? How big do humans usually get and how do you stack up comparatively speaking? Oh, and would you mind if I took some notes? Before we get to that, you haven't even told me what exactly all this is for yet. Are you sure you're not a reporter? If I was, Sebastian wouldn't have let me meet you in the first place. And I thought the uniform was just a clever disguise. It's real though. Sebastian knows I work for the local post office. Excuse me, but this still doesn't really tell me anything about why I'm here. You're a postman who wants to interview me for what exactly? Sorry, I guess I got ahead of myself here. Maybe a full introduction is in order, and after that, you can still decide whether you want to go through with this or not. Sounds good to me. <laughs> I already regret coming here. Sure, go ahead. Sounds good to me. One of the two. Yeah. I recently graduated college with a degree in computing and moved here with a good friend of mine. This town doesn't exactly offer the best opportunities to put my degree to use, though. Then why did you move here in the first place? Living in the city can be expensive. I can always move later when I get a job there. I've got pl other plans right now, though. I'm working on a video game. A video game? Sounds interesting. Uh, that's what I was going to say. It does sound interesting. Exactly! Video games and computers are just starting to catch on in places like this town. Making good content will be very important to give a good first impression. And humans have always been part of our media, books, movies, and now games. With you on our side, this could be an amazing opportunity. Well... Oh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea after all. Why? Why? 
I don't know. You don't seem so thrilled about doing this anymore. Besides, your job must be really stressful, and you're probably already in the spotlight all the time, and now top it all off, you got some postman harassing you for an interview. If you wanted to leave, I'd get that. Fuck it, we're done! <laughs> See you guys next playthrough! <laughs> <laughs> Right here. That's it. No. No. Well, I'm already here and I have nothing else to do, so let's make the most of this. Yes, thank you! At least I won't have to be so careful now. With a reporter, I'd have to worry about things being misinterpreted or being taken out of context. You should still be careful. What you tell me now will influence how your entire species will be represented in my game. Don't worry, though. I'll treat this delicate matter with the required finesse. Don't get ahead of yourself. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself, dude. <laughs> How should we do this? Let me think. Let's have a drinking game! <laughs> Why do you want to make this game in the first place? I've always wanted to make a video game. I've had this idea for a while. And it seems now is the right time to do it. It's almost as if you arrived at the perfect moment. I don't know. Don't you think my visit will overshadow your efforts? People may not be so interested in playing a game about humans anymore if they had a real one show up. Good point, but the vast majority won't get to meet you personally anyway. If I, if I say I did and modeled the human in game after you, people will flock to it to get a similar experience. Does that mean I'm gonna be your game's mascot? <laughs> That's actually what I said the first time I did this. I guess you could say so. Okay, but why focus on humans? What makes us so important? If there's one thing that people here love, it's humans. It doesn't matter if they just see them in the media or believe in them as mythical creatures. For me, humans were always real. I just didn't know whether I'd ever get the chance to meet one myself. Guess I can cross that one off the bucket list. Now that we're here, I can tell you that no expense will be spared to make our portrayal of humans as accurate as possible. You certainly seem passionate enough about this. Yep. For good reason. I just love humans. If you say it like that, it actually ends up sounding pretty weird. Besides, what if I turned out to be a horrible person? What would you think about humans then? It wouldn't change anything, because I wouldn't base my opinion off an entire species on interactions with a single individual. Then what is your current opinion of us based on? Just the myths we have and the previous portrayals of humans in our media. But I suppose that's why I'm here talking with you right now. I want the truth and all of it. Telling you all of it might not be such a good idea. Oh yeah, I guess that would take a lot more time than we have today. Not what I had in mind, but okay, we could just go with that. <laughs> World War One, World War Two, the Cold War. Well, I mean, they had three wars: the First Great War, you know, the First War, Second War, Third War. Uh huh. We only got good and uh, up until uh, right before the sun decided to wipe us out. <laughs> 9-11, all the scandals in presidency, Donald Trump. <laughs> That's only here in America. North Korea. <laughs> North Korea. Come on. Anyways. There's... The comet that wiped that. out all Never the dinosaurs? Yeah, there's... There's a lot of shit you don't want to know about our world. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Let's keep going. Anyway, what's the actual game about? What do you do? It's actually a dating sim! You actually go through a portal, arrive in a town of dragons. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I, I just always thought, like, Lorem was a portrayal of the game developer himself. Possibly. <laughs> It's a community know. simulation game. It all starts with the player character moving into a procedurally generated community, which is inhabited by all kinds of mythical creatures, humans included. Mythical creatures like humans. Mm-hmm. Quite mythical we are. We kind of just destroy everything we touch. 
This game included. Not only are the towns you move into unique, but the inhabitants are too. There are a variety of traits that get randomized, both in looks and personality. There are many things you can do, but it's very open-ended, and you can live your life there however you want to. Pretty much it's Second Life. <laughs> second Life without a lot of other people. <laughs> second Life without a bunch of other people. Just a whole bunch of AI. Sounds yeah. boring. Sounds interesting. Sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> One of the last two will do. Oh, really? I couldn't ask for a better compliment than that. What other mythical creatures are there besides humans? I haven't worked that out yet, but humans alone gives us a lot of material to work with. How so? The question of the mythical human can be tackled in a variety of ways. There are many different interpretations of what humans are like. For example, in general, the mythical human can be divided into three categories. Firstly, the human as a physical creature. Secondly, the human as a non-physical entity. And thirdly, the human as a spiritual being. Let's start with the physical aspects. Sure, since one of our myths tells us that the human who created us eventually turned into a dragon, there's a lot of room for interpretation as to how similar humans actually are to dragons. I can see you don't have wings, but most of us are able to create fire in some way, or at least have a breath weapon. How about you? <laughs> Morning breath? One of the first two is fine. Of course, I can also move things with my mind! Yeah, no. <laughs> Go ahead. Do it. I don't have a I breath weapon things. unless you count my morning breath. <laughs> I don't think that counts. It, it is a bit strange, though, because our myths also say you gave that ability to us. Interesting. Maybe it's meant to be taken literally, meaning that when the ability was given to us, you lost it. Or maybe we never had it in the first place. Humans are known to have created a lot of things out of nothing, after all. We only needed to discover how to create and use fire because we didn't have a natural ability to do so. We have the proverb that sums this up pretty well. What is it? Necessity is the mother of invention. Yep. So, a lack of natural abilities drove innovation forward. What an interesting thought. Here's another thing. You may have many different images of humans, but in the end only one can be right. It's also possible that what you've been led to believe about humans doesn't actually refer to us at all. Are you implying that you aren't human? No, I'm just saying that if you really had been in contact with humans before, as your myths imply, they would need to belong to the same species as me, and thus be very similar to myself. If they aren't, then they either weren't humans at all, or have very different origins. So you say there's a possibility that our humans and your humans may be something different altogether? I suppose you are right. In the way that our images of humans are very inconsistent, they certainly can't all be humans in, in the way that we would refer to a single species. That name should probably be reserved for yours. And we haven't even touched on the other two categories of humans. What'd you call them again? Non-physical human entities and spiritual humans. What's the difference? Honestly, the definitions get a bit muddled here. Going by conventional belief, a ghost could be a human who has died and thus changed into a different form. We would call this a spiritual human. An angel, on the other hand, would be classified as a non-physical entity. What do you know about angels? This entire game is called Angels with Scaly Wings. <laughs> <laughs> angels basically look like humans with wings. Their existence in ancient scripts was used to lend some sort of credence to theories about humans having become dragons because of the wings exactly but some of your dragon species don't have wings either yes as I said once you start delving into that kind of stuff it all becomes very convoluted when we first met you also told me about a four-headed human right with that we go into the realm of creatures that just don't make much sense at all having four heads just seems unlikely from an evolutionary perspective that might not really matter if we're talking about a non-physical entity or a spiritual being, though. So in the end, you have a lot of different ideas whose only connection to each other is that you use the word human to describe them in some way. And they share at least some basic characteristics. You fit those as well, by the way. What are they? You certainly are not a reptile like us, but you don't look like a conventional mammal either. 
We are mammals, though. Yes, but you are so different from other mammals, we know that ultimately you are quite unique. We don't know any other sentient mammals. You got a point there, I'll give you that. Strangely enough, we have plenty of human-like creatures in our mythologies as well. Oh, do tell! You already mentioned ghosts, but some other ones include dwarves, giants, fairies, and blemmies. I think I heard of most of those before, but what's a blemmies? Essentially, a blemmies is a human without a head. A human without a head? How does that work? How do they eat? Instead of a head, they have all their facial features on their chest. That's a rather weird mental image. There are also a lot of half-creatures that share some characteristics with humans and other animals. Like merhumans? Sure. Lastly, there are creatures that are said to be able to shapeshift into human form. Strangely enough, some of our dragon myths said they could shapeshift into humans or that certain countries' royalty are descended from dragons. That would imply they are genetically compatible with humans! I Sounds gross, guess. no? <laughs> Apparently, Apparently. I guess. <laughs> That sounds rather outlandish if you ask me. We certainly can't shapeshift like that. Are, are you, you sure? sure? I suppose that's why they're myths. <laughs> I suppose that's why they're just myths. Oh, you really want to go? Are you sure? All right. I love the Are you sure? Go ahead. It won't make it. A, it won't make a big impact. To be fair, I never tried. Hang on. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> nope. Still a dragon. Uh, he already tried that in his last playthrough, anyway. I know, I know, like, it's so fun. I, I could just imagine, instead of me, like, just saying nope, still dragging me, going like, Yeah, you're totally a human now! Go quiet! <laughs> My mother's yelling at me to be quiet now, and it's not even nighttime. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's keep going. The hell's with this? The sooner we get it done, the better for your mom, I guess, but... <laughs> Aww. Anyway, uh, how come you know so much about myths? All part of being an ambassador. Not only did I learn about dragon myths in order to compare them to what you're like, but I also studied myths about creatures that are similar to humans so I could find out how similar they were to yours. Well, you're doing an excellent job so far, and it's bound to help me a lot with my game as well. You're going to put all of that into the game. Let's just say it gives me some excellent material to work with. I thought you wanted to, to me. To, I thought you wanted to give an accurate portrayal of humans, not just collect myths. One aspect will certainly be modeled after you, but that doesn't mean we can't introduce some variety with the others. People will love it if we also bring some of the more unusual myths to life. I see. But since we also want each of the normal human characters to be unique, I'd like to know how much variety there really is within your species. I've seen Reza before, so comparing him to you already gives me a bit of an idea, but how far do these differences go exactly? When we arrived here, you asked me if I was old enough to drink. That leads me to believe that your average human must be a lot taller. That's true. You could say Reza would be about average for an adult. Not that it would be impossible to get a good deal bigger than him or even smaller than you, but those cases are rather rare and usually the result of medical conditions. I see, I see. Dwarfism, gigantism. What about colors? Are there any humans who are blue like me? Uh, uh, blue. Navity. No, but they usually sing about it. <laughs> yep. I'm blue. Da -da -dee -da -ba -die. Well, if you want to count the people that tattoo themselves or paint their bodies, then yeah, sure, they could be blue. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about me right now? I'm feeling kind of blue. But I'm sure you don't look it. <laughs> Not really. There's a certain spectrum of skin colors that can be lighter or darker, but so far I've seen a lot more variety in the dragons here. We do have quite a number of different eye colors, though. Interesting. As for things that aren't immediately visible, we also have different blood types, but I assume you know about that. We certainly have those as well. Some people even believe your blood type influences your personality. That, on the other hand, is news to me. Anything else you want to know? Whew. We already got so much. Uh, I have to think about if and how we can work all this into the game. Have you worked on any other games before? 
I worked on a few small projects during the course of my studies, and I also interned at, at a studio before. This is on a completely different level, though. How so? It's my game, so I'm the one calling the shots here. It's a very different thing than just making a few graphics when you're part of a bigger team, that's for sure. I see. How long exactly have you been working on this? Phew, must be several months now. I've got everything planned out, and a lot to the, of the groundwork has already been done. The most difficult things are the characters themselves, and to make sure all the details are accurate. Of course. <laughs> Have you shown the game to other people yet? Sure! Feedback is a very important part of the development process, so I regularly gather ideas and opinions from others. I even made a website to do this. And what do they say? All kinds of things, really. Sometimes it's hard to decide which ones have a good point and which can be disregarded. Overall, it seems that Free Jam has ultimately discovered that they ain't fucking worth shit and has started ignoring the community entirely. Haha, <laughs> Robocraft sucks. <laughs> At least Lorem's community was looking forward for it. <laughs> yeah. When when a fucking blue dragon starts having a better a better game development cycle than you as a company, something's wrong. Anyway. Overall, it you seems know? there are many people who are looking forward to play my game though. How many are we talking about? I don't know exactly. The counter on my website only tracks the number of visits, so I don't actually know how many different people there are. What if it doesn't work out? What do you mean? Well, you're investing a certain amount of time and money into making this game. Ideally, you want to make back your investment and hopefully get some profit on top of that. If the goal is to make money, sure. However, I just want to try my hand at doing something like this. If people, If some people are going to enjoy the end result, that's great. Don't forget that I'll also have made something I can put on my resume. At the very least, it'll have been a good learning experience. With that attitude, I suppose you really don't have anything to lose. I can always look for another job, and maybe I'll end up working at a game studio. But I think once I've started doing something like that, I might not get this opportunity again. So it's now or never, huh? In a nutshell, yes. And that all works out with your courier job? Sure, I can support myself this way, and I'm not really under any pressure, since I don't have any deadlines to keep. Seems like you know what you're doing. It seems like you know what you're doing. I'd like to think so. What kind of tools are you going to make? If I consider what some of your species look like, I'm having a hard time imagining how the bigger one could program a game. While we do have devices tailored to each individual species, I can't deny that my dexterous hands make it a lot easier compared to some of the others. One downside is that I have to keep my nails short or else using keyboard gets a bit cumbersome. I imagine you have to be careful with those while working as a carrier anyway. You're right about that, one wrong move and you've suddenly shredded the letter you were just going to hand to someone. That sounds unpleasant. That sounds unpleasant. Luckily, that kind of thing doesn't really happen to me anymore. Not only because of the shorter nails, but once you've worked there for a while, you just learn to be more careful. It's a bit sad to not have them as a natural letter opener anymore, though. And it's not just for me. Some people ask me to open their letters for them, since the doing that on their own can be difficult for some of the less dexterous and elder ones. You have should you... just like tell Lorem how to make a letter opener he can bring with him and open letters. <laughs> yeah, just no. letter openers aren't fucking expensive or hard to make. You just make a scalpel, and you just bring it with you. It doesn't even have to be that sharp. It just has to be you know, nice and rigid, so you can just rip through the paper. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> have you been working as a carrier for long? I just got this job a few months ago, but I had part-time summer job at the post office when I was growing up. My species is perfectly suited for the job, so they were glad to have me on board. I can see why. Yes, yes, yes. Of course! Being able to fly is a big plus. My size means I can't deliver any big packages, but I often get assigned to urgent letters that have to be delivered as soon as possible. Huh, it's getting late. Maybe we should leave it at that for today. Yeah, I probably should head back to my apartment before it gets too dark. I've got more than enough material to work with. Thanks a lot. 
Don't worry about it. I'll just consider it a public service. Honestly, I'm incredibly grateful for the opportunity, especially after getting nearly denied by Sebastian when I met you. Just make the best of it. I certainly will. I really have to get going now, so maybe I'll see you some other time. Sure, have a good night. Take care. Even though it was just nighttime, I still have more free time. <laughs> it's because the sun's still up. It doesn't matter who you go with. You, you can just get some rest and it'll be fine. This way we can get through it a little bit faster. Just a little bit. The embodiment of hope. Sure. Shopkeep, where would we ever be without you? <laughs> Seems you've seen this before. Skip? Yeah. You don't trust me now, don't you? <laughs> After my first blunder. Ah. However, I found something ex unexpected. A piece of paper. We're going to Tatsu Park. Yep, and we're going to look at the pavilion, aren't we? Yes, we are. Multiple times, until we find what we need to. We're going to just go home. No, we're, we're going to go to Tatsu Park. Search the pavilion! Do it. You never and know you what you'll find down. around a pavilion. Let's do this. Doesn't seem to be anything important around here, but at least it provides excellent shade. Again! Again? I guess I should look harder this time. No, nothing here. Again. Again? I guess I should look harder this time. I found something! It's a round, smooth orb about the size of a bowling ball. Wait a minute, I recognize this. It looks like something I saw in one of the books I the other day. Might as well take it with me. You acquired an Ixaman Sphere part. Hope you have big pockets yeah. to carry this thing around in. Yeah, real quick. Go to the, uh, the status page. Status. Like on the side. You got the sphere, and right underneath it is actually its base. Ah. So now we have, uh, so going to the PlayStation, that's where you get the base, and that's the other thing we needed in the trash can for our good ending we're going for. Okay, so I have everything for the good ending then. Yep. Shit, that was easier than expected. But, uh, Lorem, he, he's the one where you have to have two items. So it's, it's a little different. We can just leave where you can do whatever. Search the shrubbery now. <laughs> <laughs> I want that dirt. <laughs> I, I need to get my dirt back, let's be honest. Good times. Government Found some dirt. dirt. Doesn't seem to be anything else here. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. Alright, we can leave. Stop searching the park. Don't think I'll find anything else here. Eh, we go to rest. Doesn't matter anything else. Fuck everything. Yeah. I decided I had done enough for today and went to my apartment to relax for a few hours, blah blah blah. Brief called it apartment. I was on my way to f see Sebastian. Yeah, skip. Skip. We're just skipping along. Just like a song. Side by side. 
And what did you hand. find? Well, this will be the end of the first episode. We will see you guys in the next episode where we go to meet with Lorem again. Make sure to hit that like button or thumbs up, whichever you wish to call it. Subscribe for more content in the future. And thank you for the support because otherwise I would not be here right now. I would probably be curled up under the covers in bed shivering and crying. Anyway, this, this, this game is just so emotional. This game is fucking way too emotional. It's it's hurting me physically. Anyway, till next time. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. <laughs> <laughs>